Hey, this is Scott. And this is Jay. And this is Scott and Jay show. And it's Saturday. And it's a beautiful day outside. We've got a lot of rain. A lot of rain. A lot of rain. And it's been raining a bunch. So, you know, grass is growing. Um, there for a while, I was kind of concerned that my grass wasn't going to catch on the Bermuda, you know, yeah. with the heat. Needing some heat. Well, we're getting heat. We're getting rain. And Bermuda is loving it. You know, you can actually watch my grass grow. Can you? Yes. Yeah. And it, it's actually quite kind of fascinating. I mean, it, it went from like this high, it was brown and you know, crum, crunchy when I walked on it, to the next day it was like this tall, green, lush, and you could walk on it barefooted. And you only have a few hypodermic needles that were buried in it. Yeah. Uh, but that, you know. Yeah. yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. Who doesn't have that? Yeah. So I finished uh, uh, Creativity, Inc. by Ed Catmull, the president of Pixar Animation. It was a good book. I read it or listened to it on the way down to my trip to Houston a couple weeks ago. And, you know, it's one thing to have someone who has a pretty good idea. You know, they think, hey, I'll write a book on creativity. It's another thing to have someone who's been doing it for 25 years and had 14 number one uh, blockbusters write a book on how to overcome the hurdles of creativity in your workplace and how to promote a creative workplace. So, Ed Catmull's Creativity Inc., highly recommend it. I'm highly reading, recommend. I'm reading about 14 books, and I, I, I'm i just, like, on book overload right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. Like, no. who chases two rabbits catches none. Yeah, and that's where I'm at. I'm chasing 14. So you're exhausted. I am exhausted. So just focus on one book and just get it over with. Yeah, I, I did switch over to uh, one book, and I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, the Picture Shades of Gray or something. Yes. I'm not sure. I didn't hear what they said. Yeah, it's uh, okay. you know, self-help, motivational book. Oh, that's mine. But no, actually. Full I'm definition on self-help. But anyway. Oh, man. Yeah. It's the Racy Scott and Jay Shoe. So now, actually, the uh, book I'm reading now is uh, something on eldership. I forget the name of the book now. It's a good book. Good book. Yeah, it's uh, one of those where um, I don't, actually, um, because it's hard to read. It's extremely hard to read in the fact that if you're in church leadership, then you've got to realize... It's a big calling that you, you've undertaken, and that there's a lot of responsibility with it. And uh, yes, sir. That, it's scary to think about sometimes. Just and got that, back. Go. Go ahead. <laughs> Just got back. So, oh, Shreveport. Just last week, and ate. My weight and crawfish. Dad, gum, that's good. And crawfish is so. Oh, I had a crawfish yum. bowl at Flow mm. Services down there in Shreveport, Louisiana. New potatoes, baby corn. Good oh, stuff. Oh, that's delicious stuff. Yeah, mm. congratulations to Flow Services on their first anniversary, first annual uh, oil and gas bash. So, yeah. yeah. Jumping good Jack Flash. Good times. It's oil and gas. Good times with gas. the Moors. Okay, Mozart? Okay, There's Mozart's going on this week, yes. Yeah, you know, that's a big, big deal. Uh, we, both of us grew up here, kind of took it for granted. I did, anyway, and never really appreciated it. Always thought, yeah, it's Bartlesville's. But it's a big deal. I mean, people come in from a lot of places. Uh, to come just for this show and you know, just for this week and right um, it's amazing it really is amazing and I love going down Cherokee and seeing all the different houses that have their swans out right for the year the house was built uh, maybe put a swan up in my house um, <laughs> so you going to any of the okay Mozart stuff no uh-uh. no <laughs> I mean, I, just because I think it's cool that we have it. I'm not a big fan of classic music. Oh, uh, the Wool Rock Outdoor Wool Rock show is really That's good. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've been to that before. But I just... I'm, I'm saving up for something big, so I, I don't have the money. I'm using right now. 
I think I'm going to try to go to the OK Mozart, Celeste and I. The uh, Jason Falls on Twitter was talking about four or five weeks ago about getting uh, the necessity to quit texting and driving. He yeah. was just talking about it. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to do this thing. So for the last, I think, I think I'm on my fifth week now. I have been able to drive without checking my phone, without touching my phone, until I've had two moments where I actually did touch the phone while I was driving. This show is ready. Hey, the host you on the Okay. So I can say that I have finally, I have broken myself from touching, texting the phone while I'm driving. Now, Good for you. if the phone rings, I don't look at it. Uh, if the phone rings, I think I need to answer it. I'll pull over, put it in park, and once I, my signal that I can touch the phone is when I put it up in park. When I put it in park, then I can make my phone calls or text or whatever. So park is the park is the P signal. For phone. Huh? P for phone. That's my signal that I can talk on the phone. So yeah, if, I, if that helps anybody, motivates anybody, I hope just it's it's amazing when you go down the road and you see so many people are talking on their phone. Texting on their phone, yeah. It's you can always tell who they are because they're driving like this in the lane. And their heads down like this. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I, they have been uh, very much in this um, anti-phone campaign at Conica Phillips for several years now. That Actually, I could get fired if I used my personal phone, or my cell phone on any type of business at all. Um, and if I were involved in an accident, they would look at my phone records to see if I was actually doing anything with the phone at the time. Uh, so it's a very serious deal at Conica Phillips. That kind of was one of those keys where I thought, if they're going to be this way at work, why shouldn't I be this way at home? Right. And so I really put in that myself. I, right. I made a conscious effort never to touch my phone. If my phone rings, I actually hand it to my wife. Right. Um, if, yeah, I don't even touch that. I just say, here, she goes... You, you want me to get that? Actually, I have them all out yeah. when I drive. I have yeah. them setting out. So yeah, because sometimes I like to listen to the music on my phone. Yeah, I do too. Um, and so I'll, I'll do that, but I don't, I don't pick it up. I don't touch it. I don't look over at it. I just let it play. Yep. And if my wife's a, with it's me. I think a bad epidemic that's going on now right. in our country with people texting, driving, and talking on the phone. Right. So I know ABB is the same way. They're really big on John O. Uh, uh, John Olson at uh, ABB admonished everyone to quit using their phones while they're driving. So I just decided. And then Jason Falls, when he mentioned it the other day on Twitter, I thought, you know what? I'm not going to do this deal. So there you go. No, don't text and drive. Arrive alive. Don't text and drive. If you're watching this show while driving, that's stop. even worse. That's that's a bad idea. I mean, continue watching, but just pull over and put it in park. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um. um the weather, Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Do yes, you five, know what? We have, we used to have five seasons, four seasons, now we have six. Oh, six. No, we don't have four seasons. What do we have, singing group? We have five. Winter, <laughs> spring, summer, fall, football, and the sixth is monsoon season. Monsoon season. Yeah, so we're in the middle of monsoon season. Okay. Um, it was lightning like crazy the other night. Oh my gosh, that was nuts. I mean, you know, the, uh, power went out. Thursday, oh my gosh, so Thursday I was getting ready to leave for work, and I thought, you know, I can make it before I get struck. No, I, I got in this truck, I got in my truck, and it just unleashed a fury of weather. And my truck was just rocking. I was sitting, sitting parked still. I wasn't not driving. And he was just rocking back and forth, hail just beating down on the truck and selling it like somebody with ball peen hammers on my truck. Hmm. All of a sudden, just like a scene from uh, The Natural when he hits the home run, sparks.